The project, which started in 2014, has made progress, and in August this year, the electric car named Dove, meaning designed for zero emission, was unveiled at the University of Lagos campus. Engineering graduates Olukuya Olusanya and Maduka Smart initiated the project, but later included other mechanical engineering students to help build the automobile. Built with locally sourced materials, the 200 kilogram vehicle is powered by a high voltage battery with no carbon emission. Truth is, when I decided it was going to be zero emissions, I was actually 21. So, the reason being, well, it was obvious cars are going electric. Analysts say that in the next 15 years, more than half of all cars sold around the world will be either partially electric or fully electric. So, I felt if I was going to do anything, car, it has to be an electric car. That was just it. I have to follow the paradigm shift. Made of a fiberglass body, the electric car moves at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour and can even go up to 35 kilometers per hour. It's the future of vehicles in general, not just Nigeria, but all over the world. And I believe that with time, as technology comes, expand, technology of electric cars, of course, it's still a developing field and some things are still being put in place, especially with battery technology and um, increasing the range of electric vehicles. But I believe that with time, it's going to expand to Nigeria and um, acceptance and coverage will be increased in Nigeria in the near future. But in Africa, is an electric car really viable? Using an electric car, you need power. And that's one of the things this administration in this country is trying to solve. And part of the things I've learned in class is there's a game changer coming to this country, which is battery able to store power for a longer time. So having this in our country, and this battery can be used for big things too, like your factories and so. So having this in Nigeria, this will give us enablement to charge because that's the main issues, that's the main problem of an electric car. And solving the power issues of this country, which I believe is going to be done soon, electric cars will be well, highly welcomed. Consumers have largely shunned electric vehicles in parts of the world because of their high price tags and limited driving range, as well as the scarcity of charging stations. Students say they will push for development of the technology further because if adopted, it can help the country depend less on natural resources like fuel. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.